Master George Borkard, and this is an Higher Things video short. You don't have to control everything. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Jesus, he shows us that outside of our understanding and outside of what we could scheme or plan is a universe where God loves us in the giving up of his son. If we were left to plan and scheme and manipulate and make things turn out for our good on our own, we would have never come up with Christ. As the poet said, we were looking for a king to slay our foes and to lift us high, but thou comest a little baby thing that made a woman cry. He comes and he saves us unexpectedly. Um, uh, being such a savior, as we could never have figured out on our own, taking on upon himself our sins, dying the death we deserve, and rising again on the third day, and ascending on high to the very right hand of all majesty and glory, our King, our God, our Jesus. Oftentimes, we, we all try to do it, plan everything out so we say the right thing at the right time, that we scheme the right scheme, that we're prepared. We uh, live in the universe of, of the Roman poet Virgil, fortune favors a prepared mind. We think that if we just have everything worked out, then we can move the chess pieces and life, life will turn out the way we want. And it is good to be prepared and it's good to, to uh, have everything sort of planned out, but we, we go too far controlling and manipulating other people to bend them to our will. Like chess pieces on a board, we move them. And it's not godly, and we know it. And we tell ourselves that the end justifies the means, but in reality, we really don't. The first commandment, you shall have no other gods before me, includes us. We aren't to be our own gods, planning and scheming our lives in advance. So free is Jesus. So free that he can tell us not to prepare in advance what we are going to say about him and to trust that the Spirit will give us the words. That is a freedom that believes that God is going to turn our right answers right and our wrong answers right for our good. That he's going to make the universe good for us even when it goes wrong for us. And that we we are on the receiving end of a God who loves us so much that he gave up his son for us. You don't have to control everything because there was one God who gave up seemingly the control of everything, took upon himself our flesh, died, laid aside the control of everything, that's better, took upon himself our flesh, died the death we deserve and rose again on the third day. He laid his life in the hands of a God who judges justly. And so his death and resurrection teach us of a universe where God cares for us and we can prepare. But ultimately, leave it to him to come up with answers and situations that we would never ever come up on our own and that carry us through even death itself to life everlasting. After all, he is Jesus the one who saved us. We can trust him. I'm Pastor George Borgard, and this has been another Higher Things video short.